Are we allowed to talk about uh, have some Debo talk? Yeah, sure. What do you want to talk about? You want how to give you, me? A... How, yeah. How do you feel about all the Debo Samuel stuff going down this past year? So how, like the way the wide receiver free agent market has unfolded. Oh dear. I mean, like hindsight's twenty twenty, right? Mm -hmm. I feel like, and like I know nothing. I haven't talked to John Lynch, Kyle Shanahan, or Debo about it. I have not. I don't know anything. All I know is that hindsight, I would have paid Debo three quarters of the way through the season. Try to do a contract end season for sure. Probably would have been cheaper. Uh, Christian Kirk really set the market off. That thing exploded. Oh. Whew, good for Christian you. Christian Kirk or who fucked it off? What was that? Uh, the Jaguars? Yeah, yeah, that's what it was. Jaguars really fucked it off by paying. Oh, dude, they, they money. said they Reset said the market. they said screw the whole league. We're gonna pay. We're gonna pay <laughs> we're him ninety. We're gonna pay him ninety. Yeah. Congratulations for your ninety mil. But um, uh, like, what what's gonna happen? And this is me not knowing anything. Debo's got another year in his contract left, regardless, right? Mm -hmm. He's assuming he's not gonna sit out. That's a lot of money. So he's either gonna play this year as a niner with one year left on his deal, or he's gonna get a contract extension. At this point, you can't even trade him. What are you gonna trade him for? Two a first round pick next year's draft? That doesn't help us this year. Right. That's like, come nice. on, you can't trade for future picks, not right now. So like that window's kind of closed. And like, you know, something crazy could happen. I could be eating my words in two weeks, but the Niners have done every major contract, mine, Fred Warner's the week before the season started. So my guess is within a, like in three weeks, we'll hear news of it. Yeah. But I mean, like, I have no idea. Right. Cause you, just... saw, you saw, cause we've talked about it on the pod before, but you saw the situation like an AJ Brown unfold to kind of like a similar situation. Yeah, for sure. And the Titans, like, I'm just going to say cut their losses for lack of a better term, because you get worried about the player. If they want to hold out in training camp or the season, like yeah. this could affect the chemistry and everything else inside the locker room. Yeah. For sure. Are you worried about that at all? No, dude, everyone loves Debo. Debo's, I mean, and like, I also think that it's the NFL, like, you go get what you deserve, dude. Like, Debo deserves to get paid a lot of money. And if they don't want to pay you a lot of money, do what you need to do, dog. Like, I, like your locker's here. If you want to leave, hey, it's okay. Like, there's no bad blood with me. The The window to play NFL football and to get paid a lot of money is, like, this big for your whole life. Mm -hmm. So, like, don't, like, you got to be incredibly selfish. You just have to. And, like, you don't, like... Like growing up and like everything that I've done with my entire life, like going through contract negotiations is incredibly difficult because you don't, I've never like, I tried my hardest to not be selfish ever. And so when you have to be selfish in that moment, it's really hard for a lot of guys, but because you're in such a business minded yeah. like world, oh, it is. you have a lot of feelings attached to like oh, yeah. team and I want this to happen. And man, I didn't realize it was like, Oh yeah, for sure. Kind of grimy like this. Not that it's like snaky, but that's just the way like business is dealt. Yeah. I mean like, so, because COVID, right, it got rid of OTAs because I was going to not go to OTAs at all. Like, I was going to show up to any of it because they weren't doing my negotiations. But then they got, Niners got a little bit lucky because uh, they got canceled. And, like, I was like, I can't miss training camp. Like, I'm going to play this year, and I can't miss, like, two weeks of training camp here, dog. So, like, my agent was like, hey, you have to go. Just don't do a lot. And I was like, I did a little bit of stuff here and there. And then we got it done, like, I think, like, seven days into that walkthrough phase two training camp. But, like... Yeah, I mean, there's just, there's a lot to go as the contract negotiates. It's not a lot of fun. Best thing I ever heard, Richard Sherman told me, it's like braces. It sucks the entire time, and then as soon as you get them off, you forget that you ever had them. I love that. And yeah. he, he's doing good now, too. I saw it. Uh, Sherman's Amazon, a monster. I love him. Amazon's paying him a, I don't know if the contract came out, but he's going on with their Thursday night football yeah. team. Yeah, I don't know if it came out, but he's going to dominate it. He's a, He is a, such an intell intellectual. Dude, he is. Holy cow. He's a stud, man. Yeah, but he was fun. But talking about room. you, talking about the short amount of time you get to play in the league because we were talking about it the other day because a lot of your stuff has went viral on you calling for which i'm all about i'll mm. fucking hold the flag with you brother oh you're gonna let but, me complain about something right now what's up you're gonna let me complain about something right absolutely. now absolutely you'll oh, have I, the floor for I sure and you just know the boys are behind you 1000 percent whatever you, whatever, whatever you your talk thoughts about how, how short the lifespan is in the nfl nfl stands for not for long that's like a going thing around the around the league but calling for two bye weeks an extra bye week in a longer season in a 17 week yeah. season now and you're you're out there in the streets taking a lot of backlash from I am. people calling you soft and yeah. charming and this is this dude's a pussy Charmin's a great i would never have you i would never have him on my team like crazy he sucks he's weak yeah i love a lot it of, you're so, gonna so hear me out talking. for here's the benefits of it so you're the best your best players the guys you want to see get an extra week of recovery throughout the season right and all it really does if you add one more bye week it just adds a week to the season super bowl's on president's day which means monday is off so people are going to get even more rowdy on that sunday but like like you give these guys an extra week week goes in the season goes an extra season goes an extra week right so that's just an extra week of tv deals it's an extra week of football games like sure there might be one more like one less team playing one week but in the grand scheme of things who really cares as long as there's an afternoon a middle and an evening slot people are going to watch it every single sunday 
Like that's what people want to do. And if you can give guys one extra week, so if you have a bye week four and a bye week twelve, I mean I, that sounds really helpful to me. Like why not give guys a little bit of rest? I mean, guys, I'm getting yelled at like, oh my gosh, you should try playing in an NBA season or an MLB season. Oh, have you guys Jesus ever been Christ, hit bro. by a safety yeah. when you cross the middle? Like have you ever had uh, Akeem Hicks sack you in the backfield? Like, have you ever been hit by a 350 pound grown man? No, none of those guys have. Dude, they're chilling. Like, yeah, no, hey, and every a lot sport. Of load management during the season too. Yeah, a lot. You can't load management during football. No, you're yeah, you're going. Like, the games are too it's, important. Every game matters, and yeah, so like, yeah, you, you don't have 81 chances, or however long that NBA season is, but like, you have 17 chances to secure a high seed in the playoffs, so then you can play at home, and it gives you your best chance of winning the Super Bowl. And so, like, why not just give guys one extra week of rest? Makes sense to me.